Vision is such a key part of track riding, and it's a skill that needs to be honed if you want to reach higher levels, but also feel more composed and in control when you do. In this video, we're gonna be looking at an overview of how we use our vision on track so that you can achieve that. It's no great mystery what ultimately holds us back from going faster as track day riders. In the end, what we do on the bike is governed mainly by the decisions our brains make, in turn allowing us to perform tasks based on the information our five senses are feeding them. Much of that information comes from what you see, which means how fast you can go around a corner is massively influenced by what your eyes are communicating about the space you have ahead of you and where you are in relation to it. With poor visual skill, your perception of your speed, position and available space will be negatively impacted and leave you riding well below your potential. But what does poor visual skill actually mean? In a nutshell, it's the rider tendency to ride blind, which comes from a combination of not looking far enough up the track through the different stages of a corner, as well as not having or effectively using any real references for where they're going and where they want to be. The lack of real reference markers means that the rider is almost feeling their way around the track, and as such, they'll be very inconsistent with the lines through the corners. Another downside to riding blind is the fact that they'll leave the rider feeling rushed, typically as they reach the entry point because their brain is receiving all of the information about where they're going and what's coming up at very short notice. As a result, they're never fully prepared for what's ahead of them, and when the time comes that they do have to deal with something unexpectedly, such as a bike coming up the inside of them, or maybe they find themselves running wide, the panic buttons are pushed hard and the consequences are usually not so good. A common problem is to fall into target fixation and focus on the area or object you don't want to hit, but with their attention entirely tunneled down on it, that's exactly where they end up. So what visual skills can we put in practice to combat all of this and put ourselves in greater control? First, reference markers. By using reference markers around a corner, it gives us a way to map out exactly where we want to be and where we want to go, as well as a way to gauge whether or not we are correctly positioned for the different stages of that corner. In the end, you can map out your whole corner from your braking marker to your turn, apex and exit markers, and you're giving yourself a dot to dot map to follow around the track. But references are only part of the solution. Next, you have to look ahead to find them. Moving your eyes up and ahead to find your next reference marker is a surefire way to have you feeling more calm and collected at speed. You can see where you are in relation to your next reference so you know how much time you have to get there. And then when you do get there, you know where the next one is because you're always looking ahead. This means that not only do you know where you're about to be, but you know where you'll be after that, giving you a much better perspective on the time and space you really have to work with. This not only helps you ride faster, but it also further goes towards stopping those panic buttons being pushed in the event of something going wrong or something surprising you. And lastly, you want to work to achieve a wider sense of awareness. While I'm advocating the use of reference markers and focusing on them to map out your route around the track, it's possible to be too focused on them. Focus too much on one marker to the point where you lose everything else and you're going to run into similar problems. Once you start to widen your vision, you'll eventually be able to see objects, markers and space without actually looking directly at them, taking your looking ahead and awareness skills to the next level and having you feel a whole lot more composed. Too many riders head straight for things like body position or learning to brake that little bit later in order to shave time around the track. But while they are important aspects, it's your visual skills that are arguably the most important element to have in place if you want to be fast, controlled and consistent. It is a skill not to be neglected if you hope to achieve great speed and safety around the track. Have you had any vision revelations during your experiences on track? Tell us about it in the comments down below. And as always, if you like the video, then be sure to hit the button and share it with others. And if you'd like to learn more of this stuff, then be sure to grab my free comprehensive guide on track riding by clicking the link to the right or down in the description below. As always, I'll see you in the next one.